Whitney B from Speaker Rosie, and I wanted to show you how you can create your very own audiogram inside of Canva. It's like 5.30 in the morning, but whatever, we're gonna do it anyway, right? <laughs> so first things first, when you go into Canva, you would create your normal document for those who are familiar with Canva. And essentially what you want to do to kind of get this animated feature, you wanna to go to elements and then you wanna go down to sticker. So you can't necessarily create um, sound waves, but there are stickers that will allow you to do so. So for example, when I did this circular sticker, I just typed in circle, and then I was able to find something that went, rotated in a circle just to indicate that you know, this is some sort of audio. I mean, you can do other things as well. I'm sure if you type in wave, you'll be able to find certain types of waves and you can also use those as sound waves. But the cool feature that Canva has done, if you go to uploads, you see that they have images, videos, and now they have audio. So what you can do is go to upload media, you can upload audio from your device or from wherever you have audio. So I'm gonna upload it from my device. And I just recently saved a audio for this audiogram. And it's gonna take a second to upload. So you wanna give it some time, let it do its thing. So there we go. So my audio is 58 seconds. I'm going to apply it to the clip. The question I was recently asked is, how can entrepreneurs brand their podcast? How can they make sure that their podcast is being branded? The one thing that I think is important to understand so my clip is now a part of the audiogram. So what you want to do is now once you have everything done, um, well, before so, to know that the clip has been applied, you see that here is kind of like a sound bar. So you see like your, your audio, you can press play, you can press pause, whatever. So cool stuff. You can also adjust the volume. My volume is at 100. So what you want to do is to download. Um, because this has an animation, you always want to download as an MP4. Um, I'm going to choose page 19 because this is where it's at. And then once you do it, you download the file, let Canva do its thing as it prepares your design. And then once the design is prepared, you just want to check on, check on it in the back end just to make sure that everything looks good. A question that I was recently asked is how can entrepreneurs brand their podcast? Yep. And that is it. That is how you create your Canva file. So I'm super excited for this feature. This is a game changer for those who have wanted to create audiograms. So I hope this tip was helpful and I hope you have a great time making audiograms in Canva. Peace.